Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. So, today we're going to be looking at a straight line equation, but this time you're given two intercepts. So, just to show it diagrammatically, right? These are your four quadrants, but we're going to use that straight line. So this is your y-axis, that's your x-axis on the Cartesian plane, and that's your origin. And then here you've got um, negative 6, 0, and here you've got uh, 0, 4. Right, let's use those two points as our two intercepts. The, this is called the y-intercept, and this is called the x-intercept. So we can just write that down. This point is called the x-intercept. And this point is called the y-intercept. Because to intercept is to meet, is to cross. So we're saying that the graph crosses the x-axis at this point. That's why it's called the x-intercept. And here, the graph crosses the y-axis at that point. That is why it's called the y-intercept. So, knowing the equation of a straight line, which is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient, c is the y-intercept. Not just any intercept, but the y-intercept. So it's important for you to specify, otherwise you would use the x-intercept. So, our key goals are to get the value of m and the value of c. If we've got those two things, then we've got our equation. So let's start with c. c is pretty easy because we know that the graph crosses here and the value of y at this point is 4. So our c is going to be equal to 4, straight from the graph. You just a matter of you taking the value straight from there, right? So once you know the value of c, your equation looks like this now. y is equal to mx plus 4. Because the same 4 is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. Now we need to find the gradient, the m. So remember, the formula for gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x, right? Where you're comparing to say x is changing this, uh, at this rate, y is changing at this rate, what is the compared uh, rate? That is your gradient. So if you look at it, we're going to use this triangle right there, right? That right triangle triangle. So we're going to compare the change in y. This is the change in y, and this is the change in x. So the distance from here to there, if you look at it, it's six units. The distance from here to there is four units, right? So change in y would be from zero to four. So it's four uh, minus zero, and then the change in x will be from 0 to uh, 6. So it's from negative 6 minus negative 6. And you see I put minus negative 6. It's always important because the signs matter, right? Remember we're going in that direction. So we're saying we started off at, uh, at 0 for y and we ended up at 4. And then for x we started off at negative 6 and ended up at zero. So it's always important for you to remember the signs because you might actually get a wrong answer through that. So four minus zero is four. This negative negative will give you positive. So this is four over six, which if simplified gives you two over three. So that means that your graph would be two over three x plus four. Right, so that is the equation of the straight line. 
And we know that this answer will, will is correct just by doing a sense check to say, is the gradient, if this was a negative number, then we would be saying the graph is going that way, but it's positive. And the intercept is also four. So it means that we have passed the tests and this is our equation for the straight line graph. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.